Hello and welcome to a new video about control engineering. We talked now a lot of how to analyze things. You know, we analyzed the system, we analyzed the, the closed loop and we got some values out of it. Yeah, there was the rise time, setting time, overswing time and so on and so on. And now it, we come to the point where we want to compare two things with each other, two different control loop adjustments. Yeah. What is better? What is worse? Yeah. How to, to, to tell? Yeah. We want to have a number where we can determine if something is better or worse. Okay. Here, this is the, this is the drawing from last time. We are looking at the reference variable jump. Yeah. And, of course, there is an error. Yeah. This error from t yeah, is the static end value minus the currently the current value. Yeah? So actually these areas this is the error. Yeah? And as you can see, sometimes this error is positive, sometimes it is negative. Yeah? So we cannot just build a sum of all those errors. Yeah? Because, you know, in worst case, if something is swinging yeah, periodically, yeah, then the error, if I just summarize it, will be simply zero because the positive and the negative error is exactly equalizing itself. So that cannot be a measure for, for uh, quality. Huh? However, summing up an error already is a good idea. Huh? So we're talking about integral quality criteria. Huh? One quality criteria is not to sum up the error. Huh? But to sum up from zero to unlimited, sum up the absolute value of the error. Yeah. This is a good idea yeah? because then I would summarize simply all those areas yeah? and that's it. Yeah? This is called integral of absolute errors. This is one possible way. Yeah? Then you could say, yeah, okay, you know, small errors, these errors, I don't really, I think they are not that severe. Yeah? However, big differences, they are very severe for me. Yeah? So I want to, I want to, to, to weight the, the, the bigger errors more. Yeah? So what actually what you can do is simply to summarize not the error but the squared error. Yeah? This time we don't even need the absolute value because squared will always be positive. Yeah? So the squared error, yeah? this will weight the, the big errors more because you know, if it's double the error, it's four times in weight in there. Yeah? So this is the integral of squared error criteria. Huh? Both values are simply big if there is low or if there is low quality, yeah, they are big. If there is higher quality, they are smaller yeah? because it's, it is summarizing the error. Yeah? And then you could come to the idea and say, okay, uh, well, by the way, zero is always starting here. Yeah? So this is the zero point for the error yeah? where we start to control. I hope this is clear. Yeah? It's not here, it is here. So now you come to the idea that at the beginning, well, there must be a difference. You know, there, 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 there must be a difference. This is simply not avoidable and should not influence the error numbers too much. 
Yeah? However, the later the error is occurring, yeah, the more severe it is. Yeah? Because this simply means yeah, it's long, the error is long there. At the beginning, we don't really care. In, and the longer it takes, the more severe these errors should be taken into account. Yeah? So, you could also summarize the absolute value of the error like this, but also multiply with the time. Yeah? So, this is the integral of time-weighted time -weighted absolute error, it high. Yeah? So, this integral pretty much is the same like this, however, later errors will be taken into account. And now with the same argument like before, that we say, okay, more severe, even more severe are late errors and far apart. Yeah? So let's weight them again. Yeah? So we are integrating from zero to unlimited t and now e squared from t dt. Yeah? This is also a quality criteria. This is the integral of time weighted, time weighted <laughs> squared error. Yeah? Those are typical error integrals, uh, typical numbers on which show how is the quality of the controller. Yeah? And depending on your case, uh, if this and that error is more severe or not, yeah, you can choose, select one. Yeah? What is common for all of them? The higher the number, the, the uglier the control is. Yeah? And so you can compare two different adjustments and say if this is better or not. Really? with a number and not just by telling you, oh, looks good. Huh? Here, proof. Huh? So, this is some quality criteria, integral quality criteria. Integral because it's summarizing simply the error. Yeah? Next time, then we are finally talking about stability. Uh, what is stability and so on? And how can we determine if a control loop is stable or not? And on what conditions it is getting stable or unstable? Uh, this is always a topic. Stability. Next topic, next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.